the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 54, Numbers 26-27 Census and Casting Lot At the time when they finished the desert life, the second census was implemented and Joshua was appointed as new leader. First point. Since the first census after Exodus, 40 years later, another census was taken to count the expanding manna generation. 40 years ago, God had commanded Moses to take a census when the Israel nation was residing on Mount Sinai for a year. The census here counted the Exodus generation. Forty years later, the people to be counted were the manna generation who ate manna for 40 years in the desert. The people who were counted in the second census were firstly those who were 20 years or younger during the instant at Kadesh Barnea. They were also the young people who grew up eating manna in the desert for 40 years. These young people tried the best they could not to follow in the footsteps of their parents. Among these people were Joshua and Caleb, who were mature students. And for those who were counted in the first census, they all died naturally in the desert as God had commanded. But the only people who were counted in both the first and second census were Joshua and Caleb. Despite being the oldest, they did not fall behind in the slightest and they were moreover allowed to go into Canaan unlike Moses. Looking at the statistics of the first and the second census, the first amounted to 603,000 550 and the second to 601,730. We can see that there was not a drastic change. The purpose of a census was in order to prepare for the distribution of land after entering Canaan. Second point, the purpose of taking census for a kingdom of priests was in order to distribute land according to the number of people by casting lot. The land is to be allotted to them as an inheritance based on the number of named. The method of allocating land according to the inheritance based on the number of names and in the casting lot method was all down to God who created the earth. This ensured that no one would be left out during offerings by having land to cultivate. By distributing land to everyone, anyone was able to make an offering and also to offer tithe. This way, the priests were able to earn a living from the tithe and ultimately serve full-time as priests in a kingdom of priests. Third point, the daughters of Zelophiat succeeded in receiving land through special law. The Israel nation was now left with the task to conquer the land of Canaan. Although land had not yet been conquered, the topic of who gets which land was an incredibly sensitive matter. But in the case where the father had died early, and the family was not counted in the census, it made it impossible for them to be given land. It was here that Zelophehad's daughters made a case for themselves to be able to receive land. 
with this issue, Moses turned to God, and so was renewed the laws regarding land. The first was that the land would be passed down to the son, and the firstborn would receive twice the amount. The second was that in the case such as Zelophiah's daughters, where the family had no son, the daughter received the land. The third was that in the case where there were no sons or daughters to inherit, a close relative would inherit. Fourth point, Joshua who was in charge of the battle against Amalek now was in charge of the Canaan wars. Joshua was a man who followed and obeyed Moses for the past 40 years. Now God called Joshua who led the people into battle against Amalek to lead the people into Canaan. Fifth point, look towards the land of your ancestors and return to your ancestors. God reiterated the reason as to why Moses was unable to enter the land of Canaan. Hearing this, Moses obeyed. Now Moses did not have too long left on this earth and so he prepared to use the rest of his time wisely. Moses spent his last days teaching the Mana generation about God's laws. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.